Hello there, Hydrauliac here. This is the intro to the Troubleshooting Hydraulic Systems series. In this series, I will go over the basics of troubleshooting hydraulics in general, all the way into some specific examples for complex systems. Troubleshooting is a skill that is largely based on experience. For me, I worked for a couple years in tech support where I mainly dealt with computer hardware issues. I have worked as a part-time aircraft mechanic for nine years, and I am also currently a hydraulics engineer where I do both design work as well as provide technical assistance to service technicians around the world, and I have been doing that for nearly four years. Even with all of that experience, I am still running into things I have never seen before. From all of these widely varying fields of troubleshooting, I have found there are some key concepts that apply to troubleshooting in general, as well as some that are specific to hydraulics. If you have these concepts down, you can troubleshoot any system. Having the experience will only make the process go faster. To start, here are the three fundamental steps to troubleshooting. You may find variations of these or even completely different steps from other places, however, these have worked great for me. The first step is to understand the system and the failure. You need to know how the system is supposed to work. You can check things and gather data all day, but unless you understand how the system works, all of that information won't tell you anything. Included in understanding the system is understanding the failure. Verify the failure if it's possible to do so safely. Double check that the failure is repeatable. Once you understand how the system is supposed to work, and found how it is failing, it is time to isolate the failure. Are there related portions of the system still working correctly? Can you isolate sections of the system and verify that those things are working the way they are supposed to? Once you have isolated the system, it is time to eliminate possible modes of failure. If you know one section of the system is working correctly, there is no reason to keep checking things in that section. This seems obvious, but I see experienced technicians forget this step all the time. To review, first, understand the system and the failure. Second, isolate the system. Third, eliminate things that could have caused the failure. To apply this specifically to hydraulics, to understand the system, this is probably the time to pull out the schematic. If you need help reading hydraulic schematics, check out this playlist. Once you have read the schematic and know how the system is supposed to work, it is time to verify the failure. In hydraulics, it is always either a flow or pressure issue. Either having flow or pressure when you shouldn't, or not having flow or pressure when you should. Knowing how the system works will help you know which kind of failure you are seeing. Now, isolate the system. Is it only one function on a parallel circuit not working? If you are not getting flow at one place when you need it, are you still getting oil flow in other places? Lastly, eliminate things that are working correctly. If you are getting flow to one function in a parallel circuit but not another, you only need to continue troubleshooting sections that are not shared between the two functions. Again, I can't stress this enough. Understand the system and problem, isolate the failure, and eliminate things that are working correctly. If you want to see more troubleshooting content, hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.